Hey, this is the shack the dentist built and today I'm going to take this 220 outlet here and I'm going to temporary temp it into my fuse box here and we're going to make it so that I can use it for a welder and so what I what I discovered is outside we have an extra slot here I'm going to put a, a you know 40 amp breaker in there for my welder I'm going to run the pigtail out and what I've got is I've repurposed this uh, dryer or, or stove pigtail. Uh, I needed a, a three prong. I actually have a couple of these. They're just laying around. I seem to collect these things. So I'm going to use this to wire this into here so that we can get uh, power to my welder. First thing you want to do, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like my video so you can get updates of all my videos. Here we go. This is it. We're going in. This is crazy because, you know, this is hot. We're not an electrician. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this off and then we're gonna test it just to make sure that it's not hot. So my wife just came out and told me that I just killed everything. <laughs> Didn't intend to do that, but anyway, I'm pretty sure it's off, but I'll check it anyway. So we're going to put this on the hot and put this on the ground and we get zero. We'll turn it back on, put this on the hot, put this on the ground and we get perfect. Just, just what we're looking for. So back off we go. I'm sure that's going to really irritate my wife some more. So I'm gonna run this out of one of these holes down here. Pull this out. This is a, I'm running a three quarter by half. So I'm gonna do the knockout over here. There we go. Open it up. Put this baby on right here. Way easy to put in, easy to take out. So then, it's gonna go in and We'll cut it off. All right, I'm making a little progress. I got the end cut off, and uh, now I'll go ahead and put it on this thing here. All right, so you get your screwdriver, and you put it in the end here. Take out the center screw. All right, so now we're just taking the back off. That aside there, and so we got hot, two hots, and a ground, and this is a four wire, black, red are gonna be hot, white and green are gonna be ground. All right, so fish this thing in. We're not gonna use the white. We're gonna use the red, the black, and the green. Bend them up a little bit. Okay, yeah, ready to tighten the first one down. Tighten the ground down in first. Green is for ground. And white is for ground as well. Or neutral. Red and black for hot. All right, so we got black and we've got green. Now we'll go for red, and we really don't want this other one touching anything, so we're going to shove it through here, and we'll, we'll tape it later or cut it off. But I, I'd like to keep it because if I later on decide I need a four gang, then I've got it. Time to put the cover back on. One last check, make sure it's tight. All right, that's down there. Put our screw back in here. All 
So on the bottom side of this, a couple screws that you put in. They've got a clamp here. You screw them together. Put that in there. Then tighten that clamp up. That'll hold that in place. All right, then tighten these two screws down. All right, now we're ready to go. We're ready to put it in here. Our breaker in. And I've got the breakers in. And now I'm going to uh, do my tester. Turn this on here. And uh, here we go. Put the tester in there, tester in here. And look at that. 252. There we go. So. That is how you put a temporary pigtail on your power box. 240 volts, ready for welding. This is the shack that Dennis built. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to put this back on.